Looking for you with the lens over on the ridge, but I just picked you up at the end here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. There it is, there it is. All right, we made it everybody back to high altitude. And what's cool about this point on Loveland Pass is that this is the Continental Divide. In case you don't know what that is, it's the dividing line. Well, it, it weaves through Colorado and it goes up and down the continent. And so the rain and snow that falls on one side of the pass ends up in the Atlantic Ocean, you know, eventually through the Mississippi River system. And then the, the rain and snow that falls just like a couple hundred feet to the other side of the pass ends up in the Pacific Ocean. So that's what the sign means about the Continental Divide. I think it's kind of cool. Like it's just amazing how our mountains are formed and determines where the water ends up. I digress. And yes, we're gonna dive into the question of the day right now since we're talking about high altitude, running training, running camps, and uh, here we go. Question of the day. Have you ever been to a running camp? Uh, and what was your experience like? Whether it was in high school, whether it was in college, whether as an adult. I know for like training for 100 mile races, sometimes the races will host, like I think the Leadville 100 has a series of training. Uh, I don't know if it's in like a full on camp mode, but anyway, I'm just curious, like what has been your experience at running and training camps. Personally, I think some of the greatest memories of my life have been at running camps where you're disconnected from the world. It's whether it's five days or seven days or three days, whatever the case may be, and you're just out running and running and eating and sleeping and just like really, really all in on your training. So today I'm up at altitude. We're back. Like I already said, the legs um, are feeling good. I'm going to get you. I'm looking down. The reason I just hesitated, the reason I just hesitated, I'm looking down at my knee and uh, it doesn't look so good, but it feels much, much better compared to yesterday, the day before and the day before. It's coming along. I'll just put it that way after the tumble on Kendall Mountain. And also I'm gonna talk about my brother here in a little bit. He's out crushing mountains right now. All right, let's lace up. Oh my goodness, almost forgot. Here we go. First impression vlog publishing tomorrow, the next day, very, very soon for the Innovate Terra Ultra G270s, a brand new shoe from Innovate. There it is, loving the colorway Innovate. Good work there and uh, an ultra running shoe at least uh, we'll see about that but what they're advertising as an ultra running shoe uh for 2020 so let's do this oh man okay one more thing i am testing out a brand new water system from uh solomon and here's this on your screen the name of this water bottle um it has a built-in filtration system built-in filter that is epic so we're going to take this out and see how it does uh, filling it up uh, from snow. Hopefully I can find some snow melt out there on the trails today. All right, enough talking, enough talking. Let's rock and roll. Low and slow today, nice and easy, just bopping along, getting the stimulus in at high altitude, anywhere from 12 to 13,000 feet. We're not gonna go up to uh, 
14,000 feet today, and I am crewing my brother. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but a quick health update. Ribs are still sore, getting a little better, but I can tell it's probably gonna take at least another week, maybe two uh, before that. It's just like tender in my ribs. Nothing major, nothing major, but, uh, and my, um, my knee, I was really concerned about the knee over the last uh, two days, three days, not because of internal pain, like a bru like a deep bruise, but because of the, I, sorry for the details, the scarring on the outside of the knee and the, I, the scabs basically, like it was hard to bend my knee, but sure enough, after putting some lotion on it over the last couple days, it's coming around. So, all right, let's keep rolling. Seeking beauty, getting a little high altitude training camp in. Oh, man. Okay, feeling good. We, uh, I stopped off at the car, got my running vest, got the drone. That's how I'm getting the shots up here today. And part of the mission of coming up to Loveland is to crew my brother, who is attempting the Guanella Pass to Loveland Pass FKT today. This is the same FKT that we tried uh, three weeks ago, but I was too tired. I was holding, I was holding my brother back, like. He could have gotten it that day, and uh, I should have told him like early on in the FKT attempt, just go and uh, get it done. But uh, he stuck with me, which I appreciated. And so anyway, we're back today. I'm not making the attempt because I'm I just uh, I'm just recovering. Uh, I got to play it smart for the Pikes Peak Marathon. So I'm just waiting for him here on the other side of Loveland Pass, and uh, he's going to be coming through pretty soon, uh, probably in the next like 15 minutes. So hopefully. Hopefully he's on FKT pace. I think he's gonna get it for sure. Uh, and I think this is a good spot to scout out. And I will say one more point. Um, as far as high altitude training, it's not just about the running. It's simply getting up into the high altitude. Now, I realize probably, I'm gonna guess like 70% of the viewers of this vlog uh, live near sea level or but let's say below 1,000 feet. So for you, this could mean going from sea level up to 1,500 feet or up to 2,000 feet. So simply rate getting above where you're normally living is a good stimulus for your aerobic system and not just uh, time on feet moving, but simply being up here for extended periods of time is a good, good thing. It's almost, I'm not gonna say it's better than actually running up here, but it allows you to get that um, adaptation for the red blood cells, okay? All right, we're getting a little into the weeds here, but when you go into high altitude, your body creates naturally, uh, naturally creates more red blood cells, and red blood cells is what delivers oxygen from our lungs and our heart out into our body uh, to our muscles, okay? So anyway, just wanted to make that point. Part of uh, this high altitude training day is uh, getting red blood cells and cheering on Joseph. All right, this is the perfect spot. Actually, I'm gonna send the drone up and see if I can go find him. Nice. Three, three. Three, three. Yes, you don't oh my goodness. I don't 
That was close. You got it though. Oh my my wow. So what was it? 337? Oh my goodness. That is awesome. I was looking for you with the lens over on the ridge, but I just picked you up to the end here. Oh man. Oh good work. That is awesome. 333. That's a good number. Oh, cool, man. Woo! And what was the mileage in the vert? I believe it was just under 14 and um, just over under 7,000. Just under 7,000. So. 7,000 feet of vertical, Guinella to Loveland, pavement to pavement. Signing off, yes. FKT. Yeah, got a bloody. I got another bloody hand. Yeah, <laughs> Good work. This is Guanella. So Joseph ran 14 miles that way, and uh, someday we'll go. We'll lower the time. Yeah, absolutely. Sound good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we're uh, both fresh. So, but you exactly. crushed it, man. Yeah, pretty good. Another one for the Demore Bros. Another one added to the list. 2020. There he goes back to back to Carbondale and off I go to Denver. Oh Nelly and off to oh yeah the live stream. So I got to get back. Um, I got about two and a half hours to get back and prep for the uh, running shoe giveaway. So the the next one is going down two and a half hours which is awesome. Whew, okay first I gotta eat. Get me something to eat. Get me something to eat. I do apologize. Uh, something's going on here. Of course, this is what happens when you try to live stream in your shed. Butter my bread, there it is. Have no fear, perseverance. What is this earth? It's all about persevering on this earth. I don't know about you, but out there in the studio, it was 99 degrees. The insulation does not exist out there, so it was really blazing hot. My computer did end up overheating. I had a workaround though. We figured it out after about 15 minutes and we were able to give away 30 pairs of running shoes to folks in need in the DGR YouTube family around the world. Um, so thank you. If you have sent in running shoes to me to give away to those in need, we did 30 pairs today. Absolutely epic. Shout out to True Love. She sat out there in the heat writing down every, all the winners. So it was absolutely, it was amazing. But um, we're tired and what's, what am I always saying? Stick a fork in me. I am done. Oh, up at 4 a.m. this morning. Got to go rest the ribs a little bit. And uh, so I'm going to call it there. I was planning on going into a lot more detail about training at high altitude um, and, and what happens to our bodies when we do that. But rather than do that, I'm going to do my best to find the old vlog. We're going to do a toss back to, hopefully I can find it where I talk um, in a lot more detail about training at high altitude and red blood cells and all that good stuff. So it'll be right there, right there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a member of the DGR family. We are doing this, everybody. We're doing this. And a shout out to Joseph, getting the FKT onward and upward. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.